good evening dear friends uh, it's a wonderful evening and i am so very happy that i can see beautiful souls along with me wishing you well and during this pandemic i believe that you all in pink of health today we are breaking the barriers to actually confront the youngsters of a nation it is my honor to have hardeep sunna with me and srishti who is going to be introducing hardeep in a wonderful way how many achievements and how many accolades this person has in his life but he's still grounded and that's the beauty of it i believe honors awards and achievements they are nothing you have to be working every single moment of your life to earn the respect that he has earned very genuinely i appreciate his time that he has given for deep talks today as a global speaker i am honored to be presenting this show with hardeep and srishti so welcome my dear friends i welcome you to this beautiful conversation because this is going to be tremendous and terrific as always we have all the beautiful guests on this show this is the 63rd episode and i hope that we all enjoy this conversation as much as i do while hosting it so all over to you srishti let's have hardeep's introduction and get going with deep talk Yes, ma'am. Good evening and welcome, everyone. It is my honor to introduce to you our guest for tonight, Mr. Hardeep Simmer. Hardeep Simmer is a global leader and global peace ambassador. He is a renowned person for social welfare works in education and environment peace services at national and international levels, and is honored for giving amazing results by international organizations. such as UNO WHO GPF Red Corps set GP by C Indian government departments and various NGOs many dignitaries like honorable prime minister of india mr narendra modi honorable ex president of india mr pranab mukherjee and honorable ex vice president of india mr hamid ansari also awarded and honored him for his amazing work at national and international level the honorable governor of punjab and haryana and administrator of chandigarh had also awarded him with roll of honor for making chandigarh and india proud his amazing results as a contractual government school teacher of english in education department of chandigarh administration for the classes 1 to 8 led him to be promoted to teach classes 9 to 12 After that he served as a lecturer of training placement program at Chandigarh University thereafter he also cleared the test and interview for the youth exchange program for united nations peace program for sustainable development goals organized by norwegian government and served there for 6 months he is now running an academy successfully in chandigarh since 2019 officially but temporarily since 2008 and has produced impeccable results in education and is popular as a compartment tracking expert i feel honored to mention here that dr gulleen koker is a novel soul and as a psychologist she has interviewed many dignitaries both in india and abroad to share their experiences for the welfare of the society and public in general today she has chosen mr hardeep simha a youngster from our generation to share his wonderful experiences and it is not worthy to be joining this terrific conversation i hope you all enjoy this beautiful talk and i would love to see everyone sharing and liking this soon to make us feel bright i leave the virtual stage of communication open to the public and ma'am for leading the way up thank you sir and ma'am Thanks a lot, Srishti, for a wonderful introduction to what Hardeep is doing and who he is. It's an honor for me, and I feel that youngsters of a nation should get away for contributing towards the development of a nation. So, welcome once again, Hardeep, to Deep Talks, and thanks a lot for giving us the time because time is valuable for everybody. And I'm so sure that you started planning for your success very early in your life. So let me ask you one question. Why did you think that Deep Talks is the perfect stage for voicing your opinions, and why you are here today? 
uh, I believe because uh, you are working in a great manner, ma'am. From last year, I am enjoying your show, Deep Talks, Thank and you. it is you know a broad uh, audience, and it is reaching beyond ocean, and many people are getting you know great guidance and psychological relief. Even many of my friends, like I shared with you, are also getting the yes. peace of mind after getting great guidance from you. This show. True, that's uh, fantastic and well stated. You've been watching and you've been following the work that I'm doing as a mental health expert. It is an honor for me to delve deeper into the younger generation and find out what they are doing. Are they really concerned for the humanity? So, what is your take on this pandemic situation, which has affected many mindsets? Do you think people should ask for help and should help because this is dying down? The milk of human kindness is just um, corroding away, and I feel that one should just try to raise a toast to those souls who are suffering during this pandemic and also make them feel that there is another hope and there is no darkness to what they can achieve in their lives. Do you really think that being a mental health expert, I can raise such issues on deep talks and make the public feel better, brighter and more positive? Because optimistic uh, attitude towards life is really something that people should enjoy every moment of living a lifestyle that is better and progressive. Yes, ma'am, I firmly believe it. That yes, at this, you know, pandemic time, this is a crucial time at when we are feeling so much, you know, problematic. Because everything was under lockdown and people were yes. losing jobs and even some of them were too much, you know, uh, kind of that uh, suicidal situation that uh, what will be happening next in our world. And at that moment, uh, I'm glad that you started your show and uh, many people were contacting me that, uh, that sir, please guide us. That what to do? Uh, because last yes. year when pandemic happened, many of my friends were uh, you know asking me. Then I shared your show, the link of your show, and uh, what happened actually? Even uh, last year when I started Zoom classes uh, yes. for my academic, students, even candidates were asking their personal life problems. That uh, this thing sure. is happening. That is our exams are going to happen. Is our career is in danger or it is safe? So at that time, mental health experts like you played the major role, and I'm glad. Without you, this problem was unable to be, you know, handled professionally. Because at this, you know, pandemic time, it was a you know, very difficult time. Even I also felt some of the moments that uh, next moments are coming to be very dire, dangerous situation. So because True. people are losing jobs and yes. people were, you know, not allowed to go out and to start any new sorts of incomes. And yes. the problem happened that at home, people were facing domestic violence because at the beginning of the lockdown last year in the March. Very important just, point that is. The violence in the home uh, is, is not tolerable at all. People are getting aggressive and I've heard such cases where People have lost their temper, patience and perseverance to continue doing anything that is progressive and positive. A very important point that you mentioned, Hardeep, and uh, I am honored that you as a youngster are thinking about all these uh, things and issues that can be the highlight of the show. Mm -hmm. Because uh, just working for no progress is no work at all. You are contributing back to the nation as a citizen. So um, you are feeling great about the work that you do. So are you really... Uh, working towards the social welfare, which you have gained accolades in, because I know that you are a global educator, a global peace ambassador. So being a global peace ambassador, how do you think are you contributing towards the development of the nation? May I ask you this question? Because it might inspire those people who are just thinking, sitting at home, how can they contribute in their own ways, in their own capabilities and abilities as a youngster? Uh, by the way, thanks a lot for the appreciate, ma'am. Actually, whenever I have achieved something in my life, I felt like uh, uh, total darkness after some weeks. Because after some weeks, that limelight and spotlight goes away. And I feel lonely also that I have True. achieved this level. What's next? So, it is very compulsory to keep setting next and next, next, next levels and keep achieving them and keep climbing the ladder of, you know, peace and success in our life and uh, this happened with me uh, after you know some of my great achievements which were 
at a moment were my dreams and i don't know how i achieved because i just kept going that let whatever happen i will just do it so after that that total dark kind of situation came in my life that uh, now i have achieved this even my parents family relatives are saying that uh, just go and get the government job i achieved it yes a lot of hard work and you know from the parents and you know great guidance of my teachers friends helped me a lot and i am very thankful to all of them i achieved but after that what's next what next so i kept on working rather than you know uh, getting bored that uh, yes. all right i'm done i'm done because whenever i feel satisfied i just starting you know getting irritated with my own life that my life is not this i need to you know level up level up i need to you know grow up because whenever i feel like this i feel like you know getting kind of uh, my life just start getting like a junkyard that now the game is over that's a, that's a very positive point that you have put forward and a benevolent fact that you know at certain points you do feel lonely after achieving one uh, one phase of life one achievement and then you think about another and then you keep moving towards achieving many more things but there are people who are so over ambitious that they fall back to depression when they are not getting what they actually require to feel satisfied so did you face any kind of dissatisfaction in any of the spheres while working and overcoming the challenges that you might have faced while achieving all the achievements that you have been honored by uh honestly if i tell you if uh, my friends my teachers even family and friends say that if i have you know little bit more success in my life but i have more failure than that and dissatisfaction rejection and i'm not saying that i have done a lot of hard work and uh, you know i'm the most struggler in the world but yes without hard work and you know struggle nothing is possible but the point is keep going if the life is becoming hell why to stay there we should keep working and get out of that hell and let other people also pull out of that hell so there are a lot of you that, know situation a terrific statement that you have conveyed to the audience who's watching by the way the ones who've joined us a wonderful evening to all of you we are in conversation with hardeep simmer who has done a lot of work in the social area and has been honored by prime minister and president of india and i'm so very glad that today he is amongst us contributing towards speed talks some tips that can be really helpful for all of you so the ones who are watching do not forget to comment like share this while we are live because this is something that can affect somebody's mindset and who knows every talk gains a little from what is going on in the world and what one has learned over the years this is something that i always feel proud of when i host such guests who are on the love seat because all it takes is courage to be there and also to talk fearlessly about their experiences in life that can actually make somebody really happy and put a smile on someone's face so hardeep uh, you are renowned for the social work and honored by international organizations such as united nations organization who gpf red cross and gpyc indian government departments how does it feel to have achieved such tremendous achievements uh, through such international organizations all over the years you must not have thought about it or was it coming as a child that you were thinking about achieving these dreams uh, how did your parents react and were you actually uh, digesting these achievements uh, at a younger age i would love to know from you an honest reply earlier in the beginning ma'am if i honestly tell you i belong to you know village kudali share sector 1 ut chandigarh yes there is you know, uh, not that kind of awareness program or at even our uh, i am a government school student yes such awareness is not in our you know country if i honestly tell you i am not just uh, you know running the name of my country i salute and proud to be a great indian but still there are many fields and parts that we are uh, you know focusing to you know aware our youngsters and uh, provide them such services futuristic services that yes what we can do to keep our future safe and secure and build up our nation and uh, what happened when i reached at uh, my 12th grade in my 12th class i was attended a, you know an international youth peace fest held in uh, chandigarh and wow. uh, when it was in chandigarh i was you know surprised to see that even 
from fifth to sixth class students were coming from abroad and they were you know sharing great thoughts which we were only studying in our books and yeah, it was such a young age not to do Yes. those who are you know half of their age than us and they are sharing such a great thing why can't we this message starting in my mind uh, when i started i just started focusing that how i can try it it was you know great uh, uh, change in my life uh, kind of turning point you can say i started thinking and just thinking that why can't we even these kids are just half of age than us then so i was doing that volunteering in that event i just started asking to the you know main management senior my supervisors that how we can also go abroad or to other states to provide such social awareness program and our points that how we can what make our india more you had what a fantastic thought you had because that is something that is uh, relevant enough for a youngster to think of contributing towards the global arena that's wonderful that you actually had an idea about going abroad and you thought about the future and the safety of a nation as well because when you are educated it's not necessary that you implement the ideas that are positive and progressive towards the development of the nation that is fantastic for deep i am so honored that i'm in conversation with you there are a lot of people who have joined us and i would love to say a very very warm welcome to all of them jagdish saying the enjoying the video a lot srishti who is my co-host saying amazing to hear you sir colonel sk bedi a very good evening good going it's an interesting session chandni tiwari says awesome session it's my honor to have you all across uh, this uh, beautiful virtual online platform where i happen to meet not only the host that is me but the one who's interacting with the person who's sitting on the love seat and having the courage to speak about their life experiences and the challenges they faced in achieving what they have achieved from a layman to somebody who's achieved something great in life is is actually to be honored every single moment because motivation is needed for every single soul on this planet and believe you me most during the pandemic times that we have come to realize the importance of human lives and i hope that we carry forward the milk of human kindness as i do by posting this show this is seriously a fantastic session going on so please stay tuned and share because this will make us feel more happy more better and brighter so yes sir deep cutting you short i started my tips for the people who are watching us i would want you to continue with what you were saying uh the point is uh, you know continues like this i started working for you know various social programs parallelly with my studies that uh, on saturday and sunday even i was not taking off and not staying home i was going for social work with various ngos those who were working for united nation sustainable development goals and i am glad that uh, starting from my school level uh, and in my college days and my university days i you know went to such parts of our you know society and our country where i just found that uh, there are no doubt people are totally unaware that what is happening around us what is happening in this world and when i went about you know awareness programs polio vaccination program you can say uh, and then various you know aids awareness eye donation organ donation program it was a great you know peace of mind for me that at least i am contributing in their life and that is bringing peace of mind to me that rather than just eating sleeping at home and just chilling with friends or just you know wasting my time i just you know contributed in their life but who are just believing that there is nothing more in life and nothing more we can do in our life and they also you know got motivation from our team from our you know ngo and it was a great you know turning point that's why i say that i get guidance i got guidance uh, from various seniors that yes you can try in another program there is one more program there is you know at uh, state level program there is a state level city level north zone india level and at national and international level also then so much study the uh, that dream got through uh, when i just got uh, you know mail from my one of my ma'am uh, that yes there is a program which where i should go and try my luck and uh, by the way i don't believe you know only luck because uh, luck is nothing if we don't put in the hard work sure. and uh, if we don't just, uh, you know uh, start working on that project because if i keep just thinking that if my if it will be in my luck 
I will get it just by sitting on my chair or just lying on the bed. But we so true. Youngsters do think people. like that. Youngsters of the nation do think like that. That we can get all the achievements sitting at home. And uh, it's a fantastic point that you are putting forward. That you have to really work hard. You don't have to throw everything on the external factors. You have to internally get motivated to you know move, take the initiative, and move forward. Yes, you were saying something, Hardeep. uh then slow and steady you know uh, i have made uh, some point because from last year i have also started uh, you know charitable you can say weekly sessions uh, for some kind of motivation and how to cope up depression and how to you know stay motivated uh, stay motivated for future at this pandemic time then i you know shared on various topics uh, that how to stay motivated because i know i am also you know not uh, like that robot to stay motivated all the time i am also a human being and uh, Some bad thing happens around me and in my life also. So there is a fact that motivation is like bathing. We yeah, have to you know. That is, a, that is a fact that you are talking. That even a psychologist would need somebody to talk to. And you know, this is something very genuine. Everybody needs some help. Everybody goes through depressive phases. Everybody goes through low downs. Everybody goes through breakdowns. My dear friends who are watching us, please feel free. to leave your comments because this is something that we are talking and we are in conversation with hardeep sima making the best of what the conversations can bring to you and not only you the ones who will be watching mm -hmm. us later they would be you know happy to see us convey something that's so genuine honest and coming from a youngster it will contribute towards the progress of the younger lot as well as the adults who are listening the parents who are watching the educationists who are watching all of them because it is not only regarding one aspect of what we are talking of it is regarding every aspect that can be followed and you can actually live a better life yes hardeep you can continue with what you were saying that you never feared you came out of your challenges and you were motivated but also you underwent some challenges that led you to depression and much more so you can carry forward what you wanted to convey in this conversation because this is a 63rd episode and i'm so delighted that you are there with us not only that this a uh, beautiful revelation that we are going to let the audience know in the end because this person is going to have his birthday tomorrow and what a beautiful way to hold him today on this seat and he is talking and sharing something that's so so honest and genuine so i'm so delighted that uh, this is uh, this is a moment of celebration for deep talks because somebody who is going to have his birthday tomorrow we all are there wishing him well so yes you can continue with your answer hardeep with a smile thank you so much ma'am and uh, the point is that uh, there are you know several hurdles came in my life those who just uh, gave me a great push because always motivation cannot work sometimes it takes uh, you know some kind of you know strong mindset that if something is stopping me that is not my luck that is you know lack of my hard work that's why uh, the biggest problem i found at the final year of my graduation no doubt i was facing that thing since my childhood days and i'm glad that uh, you are working on that point also uh, in your health conversation in the talks too that True. there are various kind of things are happening you know worldwide and i believe so things are negative why that uh, if people are not able to you know compete or you know become success in their projects dreams career they start uh, they they start playing game of blame blame game i just uh, uh, just use this word rather than playing blame games why can't we you know improve our skills and uh, fight again fight is not with very anyone well, very well said very well said hardeep i am so delighted that this statement of yours has made me smile even more instead of playing blame game my dear friends why cannot we look into ourselves and we look into where our inner potential is lying because that is something that we've already conditioned to think about the worst consequences in life why can't we break through those conditioned stereotypes of family society and our thoughts that we cannot achieve it even the word impossible says is possible so why my dear friends cannot we think for the optimistic viewpoint rather than only blaming others whether it's your family your friends or your near and dear ones hardeep has stated something that the younger generation needs to have a look at because usually in the home atmosphere you do find kids blaming parents and parents blaming their parents and it just goes on it's it's something that is a chain we need to break this and we need to think 
a lot more in this area where we can have conversations on this and this could be implemented in correcting where we are going wrong. It's not only the younger generation, the adults also can, you know, commit mistakes and never listen to some people who are trying to tell them that this is wrong. So my dear viewers, no matter the age, it is if we are blaming somebody, let's all look into our own selves. We should know our strengths. We should know our weaknesses. And Hardeep is right here stating something that is so honest and being truthful is coming along with a lot of challenges. I'm sure, Hardeep, you must have faced and you are here talking about it. And I'm glad that you are doing it because Deep Talks is talking about those deep topics that hardly people talk about on other shows. And that is the USP of the show. We are keeping the show alive because we want the facts outright there for the audience to listen to and grab some tips to go ahead in life. So yes, you were saying something and I'm so happy that you're sharing the facts and honest facts that can be shared only on this platform. Carry forward, Hadeep. So it started, you know, from my school days, uh, but I was ignoring that uh, such people you know, are uh, always in our life. And, uh, you know, it became my life quote also. After enjoying, you know, Pan India and uh, abroad also, when I met, you know, from almost all, uh, you know, citizens from all the countries uh, at our, you know, youth camp in Norway, that uh, there is a fact uh, which, you know, became reality from my experience that we can find every kind of person everywhere. Either it is good, bad, romantic, cheater, uh, helping nature, you know, uh, very humble, polite. So there are, you know, every kind of person can be found everywhere. So it sure. started from my school, then I enjoyed it in college also. Uh, but uh, when, you know, I was, you know, working for my dream at my final year of my college, at that time just I gave up. That no <laughs> more should be there about these negativities. I'm living in this city, Chandigarh, beautiful in India. If this is known as city, then what will be happening in the rural areas where people are even not getting assistance from, you know, powerful departments like police department, health department. What will be happening there with such kind of things? For example, uh, in sixth or seventh class, uh, it starts coming in, uh, you know, uh, slavers of our, you know, school books that there should be no discrimination on the basis of caste, creed, culture, religion, yes. region, gender. Uh, even this, you know, statement just uh, crammed by us all students that uh, yes. it is not happening practically. If you come out and enjoy it, that uh, whatever the field it may be, or whatever the you know city or place it may be, at least one percent or a little bit more, we can see that yes, either due to gender, color, caste, creed, region, religion, such thing happens sure. in our India. And when it started happening with me, even without any you know mistake, so it uh, gave me a feeling of guilty that uh, now it's enough. Uh, no more I will tolerate it without making any mistake. That if I am from, uh, you know, uh, rural area, what's yes. my mistake? I'm just giving my best in the ground and, you know, extracurricular activities in my education. And I am giving my best even, you know, beyond my limits. I am, you know, pushing yes. my limits. I have to try more and more and make my city more prouder. That yes, there are some students in city Chandigarh. That yes, those who are working in social work even, you know, various kind of educational competition, that yes, they are winning. I thought to make my village proud, my family proud, my city proud, but when I, you know, leveled up my, you know, achievement, I found all kind of these discriminations, partialities, rejection, but I started fighting on that in my, you know, final year of my graduation. Rather than getting cutting boiling. You short, uh, oh. Cutting you short hair, uh, just because... Uh, there's a lot that you have said and there's a lot that I need to ask. Uh, well, you have, uh, you know, uh, been honored by dignitaries like Prime Minister of a Nation, Narendra Modi, ex-president of India, Mr. Pranam Mukherjee, ex-vice president of India, Mr. Hamid Ansari. You have been honored for your uh, terrific work that you're doing for social 
work and for social areas for the educational purposes being a global peace ambassador do you really feel that the people who are scheduled castes uh, they face a lot more than others uh, while achieving all this that you have achieved because this is something you were talking about and it's a very important facet for the society to know that i think uh, rules should be obeyed but uh, i feel that don't limit your inner potential to break through these conditioned stereotypes where one needs to just uh, open the mindset and accept everybody in the society with uh, open arms because this is something that people still cannot follow and they still have that kind of a grudge in their mind that they would love to you know differentiate demarcate categorize people judge analyze people so i, I have never felt like that on this show as well i have always stated the ones who want to come on the show fearlessly can always send me an email on gurleenkhokar@gmail.com because there is something that i would love to say today that holding dignitaries is a great idea but holding a layman on the show who's faced challenges to get to a position is amazing the amount of satisfaction i get to hold somebody from the normal crowd is immensely immensely incredible it is something that speaks volumes because somebody has risen from where he was or she was to a new height and still knows the way how to live life in a better way than the one who's already in a wealthy family and has got everything that he could think of you know so uh, this is something that i wanted to ask you hardeep uh, was it challenging enough to be honored by such high dignitaries and then still remaining grounded and did not people follow you for asking you that how did you overcome the challenge of being still a scheduled caste and still breaking the myths of being one by the way there are a lot of discrimination i won't say only that uh, it happens in our india sc st obc dalits uh, harijan people are getting discriminated i have seen you know a lot of kind of discrimination partiality is happening either due to rural or you know urban area you can say discrimination can be seen rich or poor discrimination can be seen even the gender discrimination can also be seen just because of still some people are practicing patriarchal thoughts and you know society uh even i am you know very surprised to just uh, when i met you and listened to your experience that yes there are some kind of patriarchal you know problems still happening in our you know 21st century in india yes and that will happen with you that uh, when i started uh, you know uh, getting some kind of such uh, you know negativity that uh, because of my you know color also sometimes and sometimes <laughs> just because of my rural area background and sometimes totally just because of a uh, little bit financially you know uh, you can say and uh, even uh, i was surprised that since my childhood days my parents never taught me to discriminate anyone and i don't believe that any parent should teach anyone but there are you know still some areas even if you go uh, like we are living in chandigarh this is the capital of punjab and haryana yes if you go to the rural areas of our punjab and haryana in himachal there are still some people of you know those deep thoughts that uh, we are from higher uh, caste or you know upper caste and we have to discriminate other and we should not share with them our food items or anything like this even one of my student just came from you know muzaffarnagar uh, for her studies and i'm glad that uh, people from you know various uh, you know states are also getting guidance and education she also you know shared this reality which happened just before two days in front of her eyes in chandigarh in our you know chandigarh yes. uh, there were some guests uh, those who came in you know her neighbor uh, neighbor's house and uh, when later on they came to know that their caste is little bit lower than uh, than them they cleaned their whole house oh just God. you know mob kind of things and i am very sad that people are still practicing such kind of you know discriminatory thing which i don't believe that are needed at this moment at this you know 21st stage which you know which is you know lacking behind our india otherwise india is not lacking in anything if we remove these kind of things our india can get you know more great than any other country in this world true, so so i no, believe the ones no. who are not uh, you know not having enough of the facilities and opportunities are the one 
having the zest to do more than others you know the ones who are already having a lot in their hands do not value it so the ones who are there with you know the, the answers to such things like people have uh, a statement stating that uh, you know there is a lot of percentage given to the scheduled castes in the quota system and all what is your take on it i believe it's a positive thought to state that you know they are not coming in from a well off family so if they are getting the quota they are still working hard for achieving something that is that could be their dream so if you worked hard you achieved what you could have achieved you know being the same person in any other um, atmosphere or near the caste because i don't believe that casteism religion and all these things matter as long as we are humans and we share the same blood during this pandemic i felt it even more because when you are actually your soul is leaving your body you know some people are suffering when it is actually leaving the body and you're asked for the blood you don't you know ask the doctor is it uh, is it coming from a scheduled caste or is it coming from a transgender you know these are the concepts that i want to talk on deep talks so we are not then thinking about casteism discrimination or anything like that we just want to live more so the fear of living and the fear of dying is already present in the mindset so why cannot we have a revolutionary change something very interesting that you're talking about hardeep because hardly people talk about who they are in their actual sense you're talking about that you're not coming from a well wealthy family this is something that nobody else would share on a show like deep talks because it is something that is so personal and it takes a lot of confidence to achieve what you have done and uh, i wish you all the very best for the future whatever you do because uh, i feel genuinely that people who don't get the opportunities they create opportunities for themselves and not only for themselves they work harder for others to let them know that they should value each each segment of their life and each aspect of their life that's very interesting there has uh, there have been somebody who is uh, trying to get through you there is jagdish who has mentioned we need more and more these kind of videos to motivate the youngsters who just have given up on their dreams just because of this pandemic hardeep Simmer, a big salute to you. There is Vinay Bangya who says a great session. So I believe there are people who like you, and there are people who feel that you have the potential to change this nation and make the youngsters feel proud of the work that you're doing, Hardeep. And so am I proud to get in touch with you because it's been almost six months that we were in conversations, and today was the time. Maybe a few hours before your birthday, it is celebration in itself that you have. come on the seat and you're talking something that can actually actually evoke something in the mindset of the people who are watching the show and the ones who will be watching the show later on it's rightly stated my dear friends educational seeds have a line of duty towards our nation if you are educated you need to do something for the nation and you need to implement some acts in your behavior so that you stand tall than others because just by being educated is not enough enough a deed for claiming what you can and what you should you know respect the teachers and professors it's a must because they are the ones who are creating channels of opportunities for us for us to be be able to be more positive optimistic progressive and contribute back to the nation this is something that i am talking because i believe the teachers have been my best friends and the reason why i'm here on deep talks hosting such a wonderful show is because of the professors of gcg sector 11 and the college and the areas where i have studied in the school it's an alma mater and my parents who have worked hard to have the line of communication with me as a friend so my dear viewers please please like and share this if you feel what we are talking is something that you can value and we have the potential to carry forward such fantastic conversations in the future so hardeep coming back to you i know that you must be hearing something that you are feeling proud of right now because this is all what you wanted to share on the show but do you think being bold brainy optimistic in the work might be a call for development in progress because i believe people can be brainy but they cannot be optimistic at all you know they could be bold but they could not take the opportunity to be here on the show so do you think that you have fitted well to be here today on this show being bold brainy optimistic in the work and that you are development you are development in yourself because you are using self development as a cause of progress for the nation uh yes ma'am i personally believe that we have to work on ourselves rather than you know started working on any any thing else because if we are something only then we are able to give someone else 
but no doubt if we are you know uh, there is a very nice say uh, i think by shri guru nanak dev ji that is, yeah. if you are having an empty bowl it doesn't mean that you are having nothing maybe you may have shared with someone then that bowl got empty then keep start start filling it and then share it more with others so true just keep learning and keep filling yourself also with knowledge good points human nature good values and then keep sharing with others only then we are able to be you know called good human being because what happened uh, in my life rather than just facing various kind of you know such things which you you know touched actually that kind of partiality you know rejection uh, discrimination i just felt that no doubt whatever my background is whatever my color is that uh, doesn't matter if i am not a good human being because earlier i was you know also started you know thinking negative that my you know yes. luck is wrong my life is wrong i just got birth uh, here in this color this kind of thing but slow and steady when i started you know studying of uh, great personalities of our great india and even abroad worldwide people started working on their you know uh, wrong sections wrong points or uh, you know weaker points and they made them wrong same thing happened with me that you know whatever that i have made is not because of being a scheduled caste candidate if i honestly tell you i am a proud you know human being first many you know many of us would say that uh, you are supporting you know scheduled castes you are supporting you know lgbt people are you one of them i just honestly <laughs> say i am a human being i am a human sure. being and it you need to support other human being and this is our you know right that if we got freedom we should not snatch someone else freedom and what happened yes. uh, last year at pandemic time it happened that uh, everyone was sitting you know uh, at home and at that time uh, some of my, uh, some of my friends were you know kind of taunting in a very you know funny man that uh, you are scheduled cast you will get a job you will get a better future i just honestly told them whatever achievement i made is without using my scheduled caste certificate no doubt if someone made me you know scheduled caste just thousands of years ago if some you know uh, people are just made lower caste those who are very hard working and i am very glad after studying i came to know about my you know uh, great history of our india uh, which is coming in even government job and even ias level studies even the questions are and in even in the interview of civil services such questions are asked that is it valid to provide you know some uh, facilities to scheduled caste scheduled tribe females girls and it is still happening that in 1951 our india's first law minister of india dr ambedkar resigned from his law ministership when he just tried to give 50% means no. equal opportunities for women and females but the cabinet rejected that females are not supposed to go and study go and work outside come into the parliament even it is still happening that girls are not getting equal opportunities in indian government and private sector even in equal wages even uh, no. they are getting only 30% not even 50% means no equality because ambedkar ji thought that if abroad you know uh the countries abroad are working on equality that's why they are developed but if we keep discriminating females and some you know hard working sections of our society you know they are just kept away from the facilities even basic facilities people were not given facilities to even enjoy food earning whatever they are you know doing hard work even they were not given salary and even they were not allowed to drink water at the public places they were not allowed to even walk on the streets so that's why i am very proud that whatever i have achieved is just because of my great you know social reformer bhagat singh is vice chandra immense courage it takes immense um, it takes immense courage and i would believe that it it is a struggle in itself to face what you have faced and you are here now enlightening others about what you have gone through Uh, somebody has to take the initiative so it is something that one has to take a step 
even when you are born when everybody starts to walk they have to actually initiate that effort to walk or to stand and the ones who are facing some challenges obviously all respect to them they also learn to fly high in the sky they are people who walk with crutches they are people who are striving hard to you know win the olympics and the indians who are participating everywhere in the global areas to make our country proud of their own abilities and not only that inspire the people around them so you are one of them who is trying to make a way for those who are there as schedule cast and trying to break the barriers to actually have those stereotypes uh, cling to their mindset that you know being a schedule cast is nothing you are a human being first and if you have that knowledge that you can implement at the right moment it can become a lifetime you know i would say a lifetime asset for you not only you you are contributing to the larger areas in life why can't we have an open mindset is the question that i ask the audience and the people around us we are the ones who frame these kind of stereotypes over the years and we are the ones who want to break away from them that is why live in relationships extramarital affairs these are all being talked about on deep talks it's a grave concern for the nation that if people are fearing to share their life experiences to even psychologists and mental health experts then it is a serious concern maybe more serious than this pandemic because it does affect the mindset and it is rightly also stated that few of the tips that i give on the show like today i would state comparisons lead to unhealthy ways of conditioning our mindset when you compare people when you compare you know children at home also when you're comparing your wife to somebody else outside when you're comparing yourself to somebody else always lowers your self esteem and respect my dear viewers the audience is watching as youngsters also i would like to say that do not do not compare yourself to anybody you are the perfect role model god has created you are unique you have your own abilities and potential to strive for higher things in life maybe you are made for something special who knows what the inner potential you are having so kindly use the knowledge and implement and also seek guidance from people who you feel can actually relate to you at that moment and try to extract what good you can from that person because at that point of time you would feel bright and that's all the mental health experts do in india people are fearing going to mental health experts in foreign countries it's become a casual routine they have their appointments fixed in the roster calendars for visiting the psychologist if they have an issue whether it's sleeplessness whether it's a, a low low feeling whether it's a low drive in the hormones for females it's something it's so 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 trivial for them here it's become a taboo okay we visited a psychologist there must be something wrong with the person because there is something related to the mental set of the person so i feel and i request the audience to share this video because when you share people come to know that as mental health expert it takes a lot to strike these conversations and build a rapport with the client so that they can place their trust on us and we can actually help them and guide them towards the right path and probably anybody's guidance it's just not me you cannot relate only to me you there are so many mental health experts across the globe you can relate to and you can just give a call and ask for help what better a way it is when i stated maybe somebody listening out right there could understand that mental health experts also are doing a great job for the country and we are proud of them who are doing it and making this nation a better place to live in so hardeep what has been the biggest achievement so far in your life apart from the achievements you have uh, got i would like to ask you which achievement is your favorite and why by the way whatever achievement i have made in my personal life are no doubt are making me some kind of you know proudful and uh, they are popping me some kind of positive energy all right yes i have you know made that dream you know come true but the you know biggest achievement you know peace uh, peace of mind granting achievement is that no doubt i have achieved something either from you know starting from uh, rural level and reaching to the you know global level i feel you know the happiest moment in my life when my you know youngsters you know the students coming to my academy and getting you know services of education and when they are achieving their life that is my real achievement actually because i have seen 
then what happening in our you know indian society no doubt if we are from rich family we can you know go to you know very expensive schools colleges yes. university and we can you know hire some very expensive experts yes. like educate so but what happens with the 80% of my india which is you know not even very rich and this happened in uh, this uh, pandemic time from last year 80% students are unable to access to smartphones online classes yes. but i'm very glad i you know uh, started my uh, started providing my services uh, because uh, in lockdown time last year i was going you know provide services with various ngos and gurdwara sahib committees uh, when we were going to conduct some learner for needy people uh, so so in study i came to know that yes there are some villages just nearby chandigarh even there is no you know clear access of road light water even drinking water and uh, internet is you know network there is no network so i started yeah. you know providing my you know educational services there and from last 5 years i am very proud that uh, producing 100% success rate of my academy students is my real yeah. achievement yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. even students yeah even students were not able to clear their you know some classes either at school college and university and sometime in ielts uh, so when i started providing them uh, you know my educational services they felt proud and even they cleared their classes and exams just in one month 10 days and 7 uh, days and a girl cleared just in 3 days her 11th class compartment and even i students cleared their studies uh, which were you know not possible by reaching in expensive coaching centers in chandigarh even after paying huge fees and when they yes. came i just uh, provided you know personal services and uh, uh, you know personal services at very cheaper rate than market and they cleared their exam and they are you know enjoying abroad right now they are you know higher education so this is my I real achievement so if i am satisfied for getting from uh, serving the people at a very lower fees you are providing education that talks a lot about who you are hardeep because there are people who need the opportunities to grow and get better with their life and if you are able to touch those hearts and minds i believe you are doing your deeds and this is what we have on deep talks tonight and there is something that i always ask the person who comes on the seat that a message for the audience and a message for the host and i know that it is your birthday tomorrow and i would love to wish you all the ones who have been connected to deep talk so far this is the 63rd episode and we are honored to have you the ones who have come from their side on behalf of my parents my family we all wish you a beautiful future ahead which is right there in your hands and you can contribute towards the development of the nation i know that you are going to make many more proud of the work that you are doing a deep talks always states every heart and mind needs to express love seat holds relevance with bold moves i always started this with a mission that if i can let people express their heart out on this show it would definitely mean a lot to me and you are the first youngster who i have thought about getting on the show and getting rolled on with this bold move of you know starting a conversation with someone just 22 are you turning 22 or you are turning 23 tomorrow uh, actually i am 1992 born ma'am so i am getting in, uh, entering 29 years old age That's but uh, i believe age is just a number age is just a number yes i do believe and i do agree with you and that puts a smile on your face that maybe you have contributed a lot and you're trying to even achieve higher aims in life and you should have certain aims in life so what is that one last message or deep that you would want to convey to the audience and the ones who will be watching us later and the ones who joined us i would love to thank you all because you know what when you are there commenting i just love it because this is the unconditional love that comes in with deep talks and it just keeps me moving forward because these are the blessings that i take away from this show so everyone means a lot to me everybody is equal to me and i am always available 
for the services of mental health issues that are there so please spread a message and anyone who's having any query regarding anything can always pop in their queries at gurleenkhokar at gmail.com gurleenkhokar at gmail.com this is my email id and yes hardeep one message that you would love to pass on to everybody or to youngsters and one message to the host uh the point is that uh, first of all thanks a lot for you know best wishes for my birthday ma'am and it is advance booking for tomorrow nice and the uh, point is that uh, one message for everyone around the world those who are watching this great session by gulin khokar ma'am i'm very you know feeling honored and you know proud to be the you know first youngster to come on this show by the way so if i have done something only then i made some entry at uh, such a great show international great show which is you know True. providing great motivation love care at this you know critical pandemic time and a great message from my side which i believe i should you know share with everyone that uh, there are always problems till our last breath but we should never yes. give up my name is hardeep seymar and uh, i am very glad that uh, when i started uh, representing india uh, since uh, 2010 uh, just when i came into you know national and international delhis with my you know some uh, interview my name can be searched on google hardeep seymar and there are various links of facebook instagram and even my contact details if anyone is feeling any kind of problem first of all i would like to suggest to contact gulleen ma'am and even you can contact me also whenever you are feeling any kind of down situation or any kind of stress and depression situation i most welcome anyone from any corner you know from any city from any country most welcome because being a human it's my duty rather than to just uh, enjoy my personal life success rather making uh, you know rather than making personal peace of mind we should you know spread love and peace around so this is my message never give up just keep contacting nobody know where you will get the uh, you know solution because if any lock is made in this world there are always keys and if any key is lost there are still some expert those who can make you know master keys or you know fake keys still they can you know solve the problem every problem got a solution every lock got a key and every disease got a cure so it's my you know humble request to everyone please Con- uh, keep co- contacting your friends family members and if not possible contact the experts in our india mental health is ignored at the you know highest rate because if someone is contacting mental health expert people start thinking that he is you know not fine from mind he is mental he is crazy either he is in depression or he just fell in love and he is going to suicide that's why he is contacting but the reality is after last year you know our great you know actor Shushant Singh, uh, Shushant Singh yes. Rajput. Now uh, I don't know how you know what is a murder or suicide. After that, yes. people start taking this mental health topic little bit serious. But there's a lot more things to do, and I'm very glad. I'm not you know uh, psychology student, but I'm glad that I have you know met a various uh, met various kind of people at various places. So at least I can contribute a little in my making you know in making my India great and this world uh, you know. a uh, peaceful place heaven on earth is possible just keep talking keep contacting keep enjoying that's you know best wishes from my side and let's make this planet earth more great that's all from that's my side ma'am thanks a lot for joining us i would raise a toast to all the bold souls who have come so far till the 62nd episode and hardeep including him the 63rd episode successfully completed i would request everybody to stay safe stay mentally and physically fit enjoy every moment of your life because this is something that you are living every moment and i believe that whatever hardeep has shared today is enlightening enough to all of the ones who will be watching this and i request you all that if you have a heart and if you care for someone you would definitely share this video because this is going to spark somebody and uplift a soul and if you can uplift the soul why wait a little bit more longer i'm not asking for anything i'm not asking for money from you it is something that just only invites your sharing this video with others and making the people smile because that is what we really need we don't need much from you we only require your precious time whenever we are online and we would keep you updated about the grand news which will be coming soon 
the ones who will be coming on the show in the coming weeks you will come to know from me and you will be getting the flyers and the updates very soon because the one who's going to come on this show soon on 8th of july is a very special soul and i'm sure that we have broken the barriers and we have gone and stretched ourselves to somebody who's a pranic healer and has served the corporate sector for last 25 years and is a very well renowned name in the bollywood segment so please stay tuned and the ones coming from foreign countries they are also the ones who are achievers in their lives and i am glad that i'm lucky enough to be a part of their life and i hold a significant place in their heart and mind so my dear viewers this is miss kurleen kokhar who hosted hardeep sanwar a global peace ambassador and somebody who is still striving to work harder for the development of the nation so let's say jai hind and raise a toast to all the bold souls stay safe stay mentally and physically fit enjoy every moment of your living thanks a lot for joining us tonight bye bye good night ma'am